Hi there, Chris here. Video games have a bit of a troubled history when it comes to representation, in particular for women, people of color, members of the LGBTQ community, as well as other groups. Usually they're depicted like this. And here's the owner of the restaurant. Well, shit, if it ain't the captain himself. So when good representation actually does happen, it should be pointed out and celebrated. Here's a list of games that I feel do a good job of this. Admittedly, some games do a much better job than others. We'll talk about that when we get to them. But for right now, let's just get started. First up, Metroid. In the 1980s, most video game protagonists were either men, male animals, whatever Qbert was. So in 1986, when Metroid came out, most people were expecting the same thing. But if you beat the game fast enough, you get to see that the character that you've been playing as throughout the entire game, underneath all that impressive armor, was a woman. This was a big deal back in the day, because up until that point, women were mainly treated as damsels in distress or just plain old eye candy. So having a woman protagonist coming in, saving the day, and kicking so much butt along the way showed that women too can be amazing heroes. This isn't to say that there aren't any issues with the game. If you beat the game a little bit faster, she will strip down into a unitard. And if you beat the game even faster than that, she'll strip down into a bikini. Sometimes when you go one step forward, you take two steps back, fall into a ditch, into a dumpster fire. Next up, Fallout 2. Queer characters and issues tend to be portrayed in video games a little bit like... that. So it was a breath of fresh air when Fallout 2 decided to make being LGBTQ plus normal. On your adventure throughout the wasteland, either saving settlements or destroying them, you can come across a small hamlet known as Modoc. In there, you can find an elderly butcher with two adult children, a son and a daughter. You can flirt with them, you can seduce them, you can even get married to them, regardless of your gender. Nobody bats an eye if you're gay, lesbian, bisexual. They still treat you as a normal person. The fact that you could get married to somebody of the same gender in Fallout 2, a game that came out in 1998, but you couldn't do that in the United States, a real place in the real world, until 2004 in just one state, Massachusetts, is telling. Now granted, the marriage does come about as a result of a shotgun wedding when the butcher finds out that you've been giving the old woohoo to his kid. Still, the butcher doesn't mind that you're of the same gender. All the butcher cares about is that you two get married. Sometimes it really does take a nuclear apocalypse to show people that love is love. Next, The Walking Dead. Representation of people of color, especially African-American men, has not exactly been stellar. From gangsters to over-muscled brutes, they tend to be shown in negative and dehumanizing ways. In the first season of The Walking Dead, however, players take on the role of Lee Everett, a former history professor and African-American who's now trying to survive in the zombie apocalypse. He's smart, he's capable, he's an effective leader and no mere stereotype. He even finds time in his very busy schedule of not getting eaten by zombies in order to correct his fellow survivors' casual racism. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No, why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. As it's an interactive story, Lee can be played as either a saint, sadist, or something in between which gives him much more nuance and depth, which is usually reserved for white video game characters. Tomb Raider, 2013. Tomb Raider as a franchise has not really done a good job at presenting realistic women. Since time immemorial, Lara Croft has really been characterized as having two main attributes. After several sequels with slumping sales, the game developers decided to go in a more radical direction making a few changes along the way. Chief amongst them was making Lara no longer a power and sex fantasy, 
Instead, she had realistic body proportions as well as excellent character development. This was an important step for the series, but it was also more important in making sure that there are more believable female protagonists commonplace in video games. And last, Overwatch. In the game, there's a multitude of characters to choose from. And while some do fit in the standard video game character format, there are others that most unabashedly do not. Take for instance, Zarya. She's not your stereotypical paper-thin femme fatale that most video game female characters are. I'm looking at you, Widowmaker. She's tall, muscular, and she carries a massive particle cannon. On a similar note, May, the Antarctic researcher, is on the heavier side, but her weight is never used as a punchline. She will be the bane of your existence if you're up against her, and she will save your butt if she's on your team. The characters of color in the game are not beholden to any kind of stereotype or caricature. This is a testimony of how you make a good game with characters of different backgrounds without having to rely on tired and offensive old tropes. The game developers were so cautious about portraying any of their characters negatively that they went so far as to remove certain poses from the game because players were saying that they were objectifying women. Does this mean the game is free from any kind of criticism whatsoever? Absolutely not. Take a look at this alternate outfit for Farah, who's from Egypt. Aside from this cultural appropriation, the game does a pretty good job of watching over itself and ensuring that it keeps everything in balance and in good taste. As I said before, video games have a checkered history when it comes to representation. Some do a better job than others. And honestly, these are just a few that came to my mind. In the future, I want to see how games represent people of color, women, members of the LGBTQ community, as well as other diverse backgrounds and cultures. What are some games that you can think of that do a good job of this? Write them down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.